Ego I open up with thousand message of Jesus Christ written by bringing to you and ten revelations of messages of Christians from across the world. Behold, I come quickly. Be ready. Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ, remain blessed in the name of Jesus. Um, remain prepared for the rapture. Amen. It's your sister Esther from France. I want to share with you what I received from the Lord the 5th of January 2019 about the punishment of top models and their followers. Okay, first of all, I apologize for my English, but I usually speak in French. So in the dream, I saw some advertising spot that encouraged me to stay natural and persevere in the natural. After that, I saw myself doing advertising spots to encourage people with my testimonial to abandon the beauty devices, you know, fake hair, fake hair, lace wigs, makeup. Um, yeah. Then a voice was showing me fashion magazines with top models, uh, you know, fatal women, uh, those kind of pictures of fashion magazines, you know, with stars. Yeah. This voice was a woman voice. She said that these magazines are made to seduce crowds, to seduce many peoples. Yeah. And yet the punishment that is waiting, top models, Fatal woman and they are faithful is terrible. So that's what she was telling to me. I saw this woman, so fatal woman, top models, you know, beauty queens, you know, uh, in a prison. Yeah, uh, it was a close room, you know, very close. Um, the prison bars were their hair. Yeah. The prison bars were their hair, the hair of those women. Imagine how painful it is. And I saw people, I think it was demoniac creatures, uh, putting makeup on the woman's faces, you know. They were putting makeup on their faces again and again. It was non-stop, especially, you know, lipsticks. Yeah, lipsticks. Okay. So after that, the woman hair became snakes. Their hair became snakes. Whoa, it was just horrible. So that's what I wanted to share with you, brothers and sisters. God has his own beauty criteria. It's a gentle and peaceful spirit. That is all. So please, sisters and brothers, abandon the tools of seduction. Yeah. God bless you. Bye. Hello. Um, hello. God bless you. The blessings of God be upon you. Um, this is Revival Fire on YouTube from Nigeria. Um, the last time I did a video, I think that was on alien adoption and um, don't give up that was my video like that was like any this month on november yes um you're welcome and god bless you super good okay um the revelation the lord gave me pertaining the event and that was some days back yes after the alien adoption video i did it was a major battle i faced and to say i went back to events and attachment um it, it was a war like between let's say light and darkness because whenever you choose to stand for god there are forces that fight you because all those things are made from the sea no matter your argument that is just the truth you weren't born with it when god gave us yes it was not pierced men decided to pierce the air are you getting me so there are some things the enemy uses as stumbling blocks you understand that when you're trying to get close to god you find yourself struggling and some of these things create open doors for demons into our lives so i actually went back after that first video it it was like a war because i went back 
I went back and um you know most of the time social media is controlled by the agents of Satan. You know why? When you scroll down, you see a woman of God, the earrings, everything looking so beautiful, and you look at yourself and you're like, I'm not that beautiful. Let me just you know look like her. Ah, we're all going to heaven. Who told you? Some of them are agents of darkness. Some of them has been sent on a mission to become figures, even religious figures, just to take people to hell. Are you understanding me? So there was a serious battle for my soul. So um it was a back and forth stuff. I was seeking the face of the Lord. It was it was a battle. And the last one that happened was um before I go into the revelation proper, the last one that happened was about um during my baby dedication. Oh, I have a child now, look at him. Oh, oh. Okay. Say hi. Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's my son. So that was during his dedication actually. I decided I went to where I was gonna make my hair. And when I was there, the person that was there just you know, like the devil just used the person and came to me, Oh let me make your nails, let me make you look like a celebrity nail, let me make your nails shine. And I was like, For God's sake, I don't want to. But at the end of the day the person convinced me and I made my nails. Now you can look at the aftermath of the nails I made. I was damaged. You see how the nail is looking? The day I made that nails, brethren, I couldn't sleep at night. When I closed my eyes at night, I saw myself being pulled apart by ugly creatures. They were in animal form, but they were standing up like humans. They were pulling me apart because I made nails. My brethren, there are things that we do that break the hedge. And the Bible said, he that breaks the hedge, the serpent who buys. The Bible knew why it said what it said. There are some things of the child of God that exposes you to the attack of the enemy, that exposes you to the attack of the devil and his agents. And in my scenario, that was what happened. I do dream of where I'm victoriously triumphing, or God is revealing to me one plan of the devil or the other against his children. But right now, I was being torn apart by the same demons that, that when they see me in dreams, like when I have visions, they run away. Or when physically I'm on the road and somebody that is not of God is by the road, they begin to shout. This is physical here in Nigeria. But now, look at me, the same person being torn apart by demons. I'm using my personal story to encourage you out there. Because we ministers, we do have struggles. And we have to admit that we do have struggles. So what am I saying? That night I was being torn apart. I woke up, I had to run to go and remove the nail. My nail virtually, you know, cut. is growing back, as you can see. It's growing back. And it's not been funny. My nails are healing. They are healing from what happened to me. So I'm telling you my journey so you can understand as a minister out there that you're a minister of fire for God does not mean you won't face battles, that there wouldn't be times where you question your beliefs. But I want you to hold on to the altar and the finish of your faith, knowing that whatever God has given to you, the enemy is very envious of it. Why? Because if you give yourself to God totally, God will use you to brutalize the kingdom of the enemy. And he knows the loss that will come to his kingdom. That is why he comes to you with the issues of life, with the temptations of life, with the pleasures of eye, with the lust of the eye, so that you, you, you will be lustful pertaining the things of this world. And by so doing, your hotness, your frequency in the spiritual realm, the level of your fire will begin to reduce and then he will penetrate. Now, straight to the revelation I had, I'm going to be very brief. The revelation I had, I was in this trance and then i saw we run okay because god has been trying to talk to me my daughter dropped this i don't want to put this on there's a level i want to take you to i don't want to put this on so it's been a struggle for me so that particular night i slept and i had a dream and in that dream my god <laughs> it was so real let me call it a trance okay because when i woke up i was still i, I was profusely sweating and in in, in great shock okay so i've been hearing i've been doing this but i didn't really know the revelation behind it okay i've been battling with putting it on not putting it on and like the personal how would i put it it, it became more solidified after this revelation so i was in a place and i saw we run the women put it was in a place packaged all of a sudden these vivons became swarms of snake these vivons became swarms of snake you know what I mean? They were like snakes doing all like this, like this. They were all over, everywhere, inside the river, like 
transformed to children of snakes. That was what I saw. Heaven bear me witness. Children, they, they were they, they were tiny, you know. Their head was, you know, like square, you know, like a drawing of, you know, it was like square like this. And then with the body, they were all black. And they were all like all rolling together, you know, the way those even looks, they are wavy, it was all disgusting. And I screamed, I said, what is this? How can we even be this? How can we even be this snake? No, it cannot be. I was screaming, no, and before one of the snakes, just one, came out of the group or the swarm of snakes, I don't know the English used to qualify that very well, pardon me, came out of the remaining plenty snakes and started walking. As it was coming out of its other brothers and sisters that were revenge and became children of snakes, as it was coming out, it became a very mighty snake. Brethren, when you put revenge on your hair, no matter how you defend this, I don't care who you are, bishop, reverend, when you put it on your hair, you are representing the kingdom of darkness. Jesus speaking, when they were coming to arrest him at the garden, he said something. He said, the devil cometh, but he has nothing in me. The prince of this world cometh, but he has nothing in me. Will you be proud to say that? Can you say the prince of this world cometh and he has nothing in me? What is it in your household that doesn't give glory to God? Get all the items of the devil, of Lucy, of the kingdom of darkness out of your home. He is trying to pollute Christian families with these items. See, let me tell you, when you put these snakes on your hair, you know what snake does? They go to a part of your house and hide. You are planting ages of darkness in your house, even over your children. They begin to behave in a stubborn way. They begin to have bad dreams. They can even be initiated if you are not careful. Because the devil is not your friend. He sends all these things to make you keep you distracted from the race. Brethren, I want us to know that we are in the end times and the devil is using every means possible to deprive the children of the kingdom of God. And I want to tell you today, if you're a man, if you're a woman, stop attaching anything to your hair. Look natural. Take care of your skin. There are things you can use, natural things that you can use to take care of your body, to shine to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Now we must be careful because we are in the last days. Anywhere you see we born, anywhere you see attachment, I beg you, child of God, run 360. You know what it represents? Snakes. You are carrying snakes on your head. You are carrying medusa on your head. Whenever you put nails, I just told you my personal experience, whenever you put nails on your hand, that is what you are carrying. You look like a lion. You are, you are, you are looking like the devil, a child of the devil. So why are you carrying snake on your hair, my sister? Why? I have shared my personal experience so that you can know that we, that you are not the only one going through a battle but i want you to come to a decision to decide that today i am throwing all properties of bali away from okay, these are the reasons that we are about to set on fire these are some of the trousers so everything is going boop so okay. we're setting everything that bleeds <laughs> yeah. yes um we are burning everything currently now May, 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 may attachments not take us to hell in the name of Jesus.